Hi guys, Jonathan here again, and I have a mystery item for you. This is it. I know some of you are already starting to type in the comments that that's not a mystery item, that's a greener shotgun. Martini action, single shot, chambered for 12 bore um, or 14 bore or gauge if you're in America and famously used by British colonial police in Egypt. Um, you might also know they were adapted, uh, or designed rather, some of them were at least, to only take a proprietary cartridge um, so that if any were stolen, captured or whatever, they could not be used with conventional um, 12 or 14 bore ammunition and it was found that um, criminals would adapt 16 bore cartridges to fit by wrapping paper around them or however however they did it um, and so Greener met that need by firstly necking down or creating a chamber where a conventional straight walled shotgun cartridge couldn't fit and just to, in case the criminals just cut the shotgun shell short, reduce its effect, but you'd be able to chamber it, they put two projections on the face of this bolt, this breech block, which would effectively greatly decrease the headspace, if, if you're familiar with that term. And if you're not, um, you can look up a short piece I wrote about what headspace is um, by Googling it, I guess. It's essentially the fit of the cartridge in the chamber. And it has to do with, with the bolt. So they put these two projections on the front. I'll get you a picture of what that looks like down the bore because you can't see it like this. So that's the greener shotgun. Trouble is, the one I've just put down is not that. Same basic configuration, and yes, it's a martini action, but it is not a conventional greener police shotgun, which this one is, just, just for reference. So, big old shotgun style, hole in the front. <laughs> no real, well, sights, but they are fairly rudimentary. A groove on the, on the rear behind the Knox form there, and a, a blade at the front. So I suppose they're, they're re relatively sophisticated sights for a shotgun. Um, Critically, it's the Mark IV humped reinforced receiver that was being used for the Greener, I believe from the Mark I, and certainly for this, which is the Mark III, Greener Mark III. I keep saying Greener. Greener was the gun-making firm of WW Greener, who made all sorts of things from um, high-end shotguns to, uh, well, in particular, famous for their range of martini action firearms, um, including small-bore rifles, full-bore rifles, um, harpoon guns, some of you might come across those, and even a weird kiln gun based on the Martini action for, for explosively sealing up holes in massive industrial kilns, which is a fascinating thing in its own right. Nonetheless, so you see on the, on the receiver, this has EG Mark III, and then the WW Greener markings, all quite straightforward. This one is uh, proofed as a 12 bore. And actually that one does not have the special chamber and projections on the front of the bolt, but nonetheless, the famous screener police shotgun does. And even that is, uh, is quite different to the thing I showed you at the beginning of the video, which to recap is a much smaller bore, 476, 0.476, you notice the bayonet boss, SMLE style, and then underneath a bayonet lug as well. But, and this is the first really weird thing about this, the pattern 1907 SMLE bayonet does not fit this. Almost does, but it doesn't fit the tenon lug. So there's some specific pattern of bayonet for this. 
different sights again. So the, the front blade is, is elevated up on a block, which is, makes sense because it has to clear the nose cap. And I have seen um, similar green shotguns with bayonet mounts described as Indian police, by the way. Rear sight is a bit more substantial. The action is completely different. It's the original Mark III Martini 450 rifle action without the big hump. And this one is heavily refinished. In fact, you might be able to see. Royal Cypher Enfield. And then the Mark III marking. It's got a date on it as well. 1879. So it's been refinished. It's been redone. But it's had a long life, so it goes from being a Mark III Martini 1879 to an MM303 AC3, meaning Martini Metford 303 calibre, artillery carbine Mark III, dated 1894. That's, that's standard for Martinis that have been converted to the 303. They're going to have a set, set of additional markings on the other side. But what's unusual is it overlaid over the top we have converted for the NRA by WW w. Greener now that marking I have only ever seen on Greener small bore rifles i.e. Martinis converted to 2.2 with a sleeve down the barrel and they do not look like this they look like a normal Martini rifle this does have the standard Greener shotgun safety on the side. So it's fair to say that this is in fact a greener shotgun, tentatively greener police shotgun of a type that, well I don't know what it, what it should be called at the very least. Um, and we don't necessarily know who is using it. As I say, I have seen hints that um, bayonet equipped greeners were used by the Indian police. And in fact, my best guess for the cartridge type for this is the 476 India Police, um, developed for, I believe, for use from Martini rifles and carbines, but also from smoothbore musket versions, so that you, were, you weren't necessarily trusting all of your security forces with rifled arms that they could use at a distance and use to attack you. This was a theme going back to the 1850s in India. And there'd also be a buckshot load for that as well. Now there's also an experimental 476 um, cartridge type as well, but I don't think it's, we have an example of that in the ammo collection actually, but I don't think it's for that. I think it's for the 476 India Police. So you can find out more about the 476 India Police or the 476 inch India pattern cartridges if indeed that is what this shotgun is chambered for, over on the excellent British Military Ammunition website, which was created by Tony Edwards, who sadly is no longer with us, but created a, a wonderful resource and did all sorts of other research in the small arms and small arms ammunition fields. Um, scroll down the left-hand side, see also all of the different cartridges in that were pretty much ever in use with the British forces, and the page on the 476 India has both the buckshot mark one the longer cartridge containing a column of buckshot we see a, an image of a packet of, of it there as well and further down the 476 inch ball mark one which is a shorter cartridge containing a well literally a ball <laughs> like a like a miniature musket round and in fact the smoothbore martinis that these, this was designed to be fired from were called muskets um, then there was the smoothboard carbines, and then potentially this shotgun we're looking at. And the page also has a really nice period image of the two rounds, uh, a drawing, a uh, reference type drawing of those two cartridges in cross section, showing you the contents. So there is also an experimental 476 cartridge, which we have in the collection, which is apparently designed for a BSA experimental police gun. So I don't think it's that. Well, so there we are, guys. Answers on a postcard, and by postcard I mean in the comments, if you know 
what this thing is. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again next time.